down a quiet dirt road in Lviv. This small auto repair shop looks like any other. But it's playing a vital role in Ukraine's civilian resistance. It's backbreaking work, souping up this run of the mill truck to head to the front lines. Uliana Hileta, who normally works as a graphic designer, is planning to drive it to the front lines herself. Every trip is full of emotions, full of hard work, and also full of joy that I can be part of something bigger. I can bring at least some things that will make us closer to victory. Uliana has been organizing car donations to the Ukrainian military since Russia invaded Crimea in 2014. Now her efforts have increased, with five trips so far this year. So you're by yourself for 17 hours in this big vehicle. You, you, you know, petite as you are, are you afraid? Are you concerned? I mean, you're going close to the front line by yourself. It would be strange if I wasn't scared, because everyone is scared about their lives. But apart from the fear, there's also love, which is always stronger. That's the love of our motherland. Civilians here are desperate to help the army however they can, donating money to import as many cars as possible. This truck, now painted and ready, is destined for Donetsk in eastern Ukraine where Russian troops have been shelling relentlessly for more than a month, injuring and killing thousands of civilians and battering the Ukrainian forces. Soldiers say donations like this have been invaluable as they brace for a long conflict. It's really unpredictable. Sometimes the car might survive for one or two months, but sometimes on the next day it can be under enemy fire and get destroyed. It's an 800-mile journey from Lviv to Slovyansk, and it's not just the car that Uliana will give to those fighting. The trunk is filled with new uniforms, military equipment, and lots of fuel. As she packs, she imagines these supplies will help soldiers like her brother-in-law and other close friends, loved ones now fighting in the east. We had coffee two days before the war began. Now, they're on the front lines. But the fact that I can help the soldiers makes me less worried. Her treacherous journey hopefully paving the way to a free Ukraine.